Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So today we're going to be working on the quest for Conan Exiles. This is worth 75 rewards points. It's a monthly quest that expires on September 5th, and we need to build 20 objects within the game. This one is available on cloud gaming, so you can play it that way if you like. I'm going to be playing it here on my Series S console, and I'm also going to be cutting out some of the load times just to make the video a little bit shorter. So from the main menu here, we're going to go to single player slash co-op. And we're going to select a new game. So you can just press A on that and you can press X to play in single player. And we will choose the Exiled Lands, which is the default selection on this screen. And then you can press A here if you have a save slot so that it overwrites. Should load up a little bit faster on single player since you don't have to connect to anybody else or connect to any servers or anything. You can select male or female on this screen, so I went with male, and then you can scroll all the way down if you're okay with the default character and go to finalize character and make that selection, and then just press A one more time to confirm your character. So once you get loaded into the game, you will see the broken highway here that probably a lot of you are familiar with. We've done this quest a couple of times in the past, but it's a little bit different this time, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But as you run along the broken highway here, you'll see different things that you can pick up and collect along the way. The first thing that you'll see fairly often, probably the most often, is these little rocks over to the side. You can just walk up to them and press X to collect them and it'll tell you that you picked up a stone and it'll also show on the far right your total number of stones that you've collected. Don't worry too much about collecting the stones though, I'll get to that in just a minute. A second thing that you'll see along the path is you'll see these branches. So you can walk up to these and collect these as well. This is something else that you can use to craft things with in this game, which is what we need to do. We need to do some crafting. The branches are a little bit more rare and in order to build some tools out of this, we would actually need probably about a hundred of both the branches and the stones. So we're not gonna worry about too much about picking up branches or stones. So press start, you can see how many you've collected on the left side of the screen. And then if you go over to the right column, you can see things that you can craft over here. So you can see the stone hatchet here requires five branches and then five stones, and then same thing for the stone pickaxe. Now, a third thing that you can pick up is if you walk up to these bushes, you can get plant fiber out of them, and you actually get multiple plant fibers from each bush that you find. So you, you might get as many as like 10 or so from one clump of bushes. So this is the item that I would really recommend that we focus on. So run around the broken highway looking for these bushes and just keep pressing X on them to collect plant fiber. And you wanna do this until your total gets up to about 60 or so. Some Anything above 60 would be fine. So at this point, I am getting really close to 60, so I collected just a few more from this cluster here. And once I saw that I was over 60, then I decided to go ahead and start doing some crafting. So we're just gonna press start, and then if you move over to the right column, and you can see I've got 62 on the left column, but the upper left thing in the crafting column is the twine. So by spending three of our fibers that we got, we can make one bundle of twine, and if you just press Y, you can go ahead and craft all of that twine. So it's actually going to make 20 of them with the 60 fibers that you were able to collect. So it does take a minute for this to happen. You can see at the lower right corner that twine is being crafted and it's trying to make all 20 of them. So it's going to take just a minute for him to go through and make all of this twine. But that is the quickest and easiest way that I've found to collect items on this map and to craft something out of them. This is the largest number of items that we've ever had to craft before, but it's actually not that bad. It only takes about five or 10 minutes to collect all of the plant fiber that you need, and then just a minute to finish crafting it all. And once you've finished with that, then the quest should unlock for you, and we can go ahead and hold down the Xbox button to turn that in and grab those 75 rewards points. So we've already got guides out for Rise Legendary Edition, Assassin's Creed Origins, and Unsold. We'll have a guide coming out for Terraria in just a little while, as well as the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited if you need that one. And if you're interested in finding out even more ways to earn extra rewards points, 
please consider being a member of the channel. All of our members do help support what we do here. And you can find out more about that by clicking on the join button. We've also just opened a store, so check that out too. Anyway, that's it for today. And I will see you all in the future guides for Terraria and ESO. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.